welcome to lnp renewable system limited today we are going to discuss about the data science basics part 2 if you have missed the part 1 please subscribe to our channel in our channel we had created a playlist data science basics part 1 to 2 english so that whatever thing that you have missed in part 1 you can able to see them in the playlist okay so in part 2 what are the things that we are going to discuss what makes a data science different from other systems what is the biggest difference between a business intelligence and a data science how and why data science became a necessary one how a data science works and what are the activities of a data science how a data science maturity model looks like and what are the different stages in a data science maturity how to create your own data science team okay and what are the data science components framework and what are the data science operating models and what are the interconnections among them different component parts of a data science and what are the classes of analytical techniques in a data science and what are the analytical learning models in data science and what are the execution models in data science and how a data science product life cycle looks like and how a fractal analytical model looks like how you know uh, how a problem got decomposed using a fraction analytical Uh, model and what are the different type of analytical techniques used and how a deep learning model looks like so first thing is that what makes this data science different data science supports okay it encourages shifting between both uh, deductive based as well as inductive based reasoning so this deductive based is nothing but the hypothesis based whereas this inductive based is nothing but the pattern based so this is a fundamental change from the traditional analytical approach okay so in the deductive um, reasoning you know formal logic is commonly associated whereas in case of inductive reasoning informal logic as well as everyday argument is commonly known okay so in deductive reasoning it involves some okay reasoning from the known premises okay premises presumed to be true or to a certain conclusion whereas in case of inductive reasoning it involves you know uncertain inferences based on problematic probabilistic reasoning okay the conclusions are certain inevitable and inescapable whereas in case of inductive reasoning the conclusions are probable reasonable okay and believable and apart from it when we get into the trade craft role of uh, data science it formulates a hypothesis with about the relationship and underlying models in case of inductive reasoning it makes the exploratory data analysis to discover and or redefine a hypothesis okay and it carry out experiment with the data to test the hypothesis and as well as the models in case of inductive reasoning it discovers the new relationship insights and analytical parts from the data okay now when we look backward and forward okay after the invention of data science is that first before the invention of this data science business intelligence was being used for the business intelligence we we were using the deductive reasoning backward looking slice and dice data warehouse and uh, slow the data analyze the past guess the future create reports and analytic outcome output whereas in case of data science we are using inductive as well as a deductive reasoning okay we are using forward looking we are interacting with the data okay so it is really a distributed and a real time data okay it predict and advises it creates a data product okay it answers the question and create new ones it is a actionable answer okay so why data science is necessary simple a research has been made okay that 17 to 14 percentage of a productivity is getting increased in an organization because of this data science usability okay and uh, most importantly the return of asset when organization increases the data access from 11 to 42 percentage now the increase of return of investment okay is keep on increasing it is around 241 percentage increase in the return of investment when organization uses the big data to improve the competitiveness and 1000 percentage increase in the return of investment when deploying the analytical across the most of the organization aligning daily operations with the senior management goals and incorporating big data 5 to 6 percentage performance improvement for the organization making data driven decisions now the four most important activities will be happening in a data science one is the acquiring and the second one is the preparing third will be the analyze and fourth will be act so in acquiring it acquires focuses on obtaining the data you need okay it, it has been given the nature of a data it details the activity depends upon 
okay who you are okay what to do as a result we will spend a lot of time on this activity next is a preparing okay great outcomes don't just happens by themselves a lot depends on the preparations so preparation is very much important this stage consumes you great deal of time but it is an excellent investment okay for a long term next is the analysis so it is an activity okay it consumes a the entire team's attention it is also the most challenging and exciting part because as a most challenging and worthy thing uh, act among the four uh, activities this analyzing is very much important because it focuses on helping you to do better and a faster way next is the act that is so since we had acquired prepared and analyzed the data now it's time to act because it helps us to act it advises us what is good what is bad what is the action that we need to take if you want to avoid it because it will try to provide the future trends also to us what will be happening if you continue like this what is going to happen so what is the step that we need to take in order to avoid that in order to you know to be successful to be a part of a successful in your business okay what is the action that you need to take what on what thing you need to act upon so those things will be provided in the data science next as we told earlier so when we categorize the proportion of effort that we are making and stages of maturity okay first we will be collecting as our maturity increases we will try to describe it okay next we try to discover many things and we able we can able to predict okay more uh, many things and at last we can have a good you know the perfect advice on some things okay so in data science describing is very much important discovering is very much important predicting is very much important and finally advising is very much important okay so now so when we try to know in detail about the different stages of the data science maturity collecting focuses on collecting internal as well as external data sets it can be in a sales record or a weather data describing it seeks to enhance or redefine a raw data as well as leverage basic analytical functions like counts so how are my customers distributed with respect to location zip code next is the discover it identifies a hidden relationship or a pattern or these groups are within my regular customers that purchase similarly predictability it utilizes the past observations to predict future observation example can you predict which product that the customer group or more likely to purchase next is the advice it defines your possible decisions optimizes over those decision and advises to use the decision that gives the best outcomes your advice is to target advice to specific group for certain product to maximize the revenues next how can you build your own data science team you need three things one is computer science okay which provides the environment in which data products are created next is the mathematics it provides the theoretical structure in which data science problems are explained in detail next is the domain expertise very much important because it provides the understanding of a reality in which a problem space exists means you need a team of two three one will be from the computer science background okay who will be working professionals and there will be a another team from statistical mathematical backgrounds okay and next is domain expertise very much important because using data science we can explore any field next if you get into the framework of our data science so in clusters we have a technical that is no it knows how and what to do okay this advanced mathematics computer science mining integration database science research statistical modeling machine learning operation research programming and scripting all these things comes under the category of technical next is data science consulting can do in a client and a customer environment collaboration in the teamwork that is like communication data science consulting ethics and integrity cognitive it that is able to do or learn to do so it is like a critical thinking inductive and deductive reasoning problem solving comes under the this cognitive next is the personality willing or motivated to do adaptability flexibility tolerance detailed orientation innovation creativity okay resilience next self confidence work ethics all these are the competencies of these clusters now so when we categorize this uh, data science operating model we have three one is centralized deployed and other will be the diffused in centralized the business units brings their problems to a centralized data science team next will be the deployed one 
So here, small data scientist teams are forward deployed to the business units. Next is the diffused. Data scientists are fully embedded within the business units. Next, we have so many interconnections between our execution models, data types, learning models, and analytical classes. So inside the learning models, we have offline learning, online learning, unsupervised learning. Supervised learning. Next, in case of analytical classes, we have a predictive analytics, learning analytics, transforming analytics. Okay. In case of data types, we have unstructured data, structured data, batch data, streamed streaming data. Next, execution models. Inside the execution models, we have a serial execution, parallel execution, streaming execution, batch execution. So all these models, okay, learning models, classes, data types. Uh, execution models has interconnections next uh, so what are the classes inside analytical techniques so in the analytical techniques three most important things should happen one is transforming learning and predictive inside transforming precisely aggregation enrichment and processing should be happening inside a transforming in case of learning it can be regression clustering classification recommend in predictive simulation and optimization so what is this transforming analysis what is aggregation it is a technique to summarize the data example means standard deviation will be using in it okay graphical plotting will be happening in this aggregation next enrichment it is a technique to adding the additional information to the data such as source information or other labels next processing so this is a technique that addresses the data cleaning preparation and separation okay so this group also includes a common algorithm pre-processing activities such as transformation and feature extraction next is the learning analytics so the first and foremost thing in the learning analytics is the regression it is a technique for estimating the relationship among the variables including the understanding which variable are important in predicting the future values next clustering it is a technique to segment the data into natural similar groups next classification it is a technique to identify the data elements and group membership next is the recommendation it is a technique to predict the rating or preferences for a new entity based on the historic preference. Say for example, so even sometimes in Facebooks or in uh, Amazons, you might have noticed uh, uh, even for if uh, they had uploaded your contact, sometimes they might be telling your person can mention the concerned name in your network had enrolled in it. The okay, concerned person in a particular network had made a purchase in it like that they will make a suggestions to us okay next is the predictive analytics next that is simulation and optimization so it is a in simulation technique it is like a imitating operation real-time world operation okay before it happening inside a software you will try to emulate example this um, matlab pv system are some of the simple examples of the simulation next is optimization it is an operation research technique okay focused on selecting the best element from a set of available alternatives to maximize the utility function next uh, analytical learning model so in analytical learning we have two categories one is learning style and other one is a training style so in learning style we might be having unsupervised semi supervised and supervised in the training style we will uh, be having offline online and reinforcement okay so in the execution model of a data science we will be having scheduling and sequencing inside scheduling batch and streaming is very much important in case of sequencing serial and parallel sequencing are very much important so how a data science product life cycle looks like so we will have a setup and we will make a try out of it and we will try to do some actions out of it okay and even though the action had happened we will try to take the uh, that output and we will try to evaluate it and we will try to use them as an input operations it is like a feedback loop okay it is like a closed loop you will be using the feedback of our output from the do and we try to evolve it and we used to utilize it in our setups next when we get to know into the fractal analytical model so we have a different classes of analytics aggression enrichment clustering and classification all these things are happening in the fractal analytical model so when we get to know about the important data text image waveform geo time series so data can be of any forms next is the, our important goal is to describe the data discover the data predict the data and advise us to take an action out of it most important in action we will be using what sort of productization we can do what sort of data monetization that we can perform what the insights and relationship that we got out of this fractional analytical model 
Now, when you make a decomposition using this factor yeah. analytical model, okay, so out of the different class of analytics, okay, we can enhance the data and action. At last, uh, we can make a great output out of data and action with the help of the goals that we made and uh, with the help of the different class of analytics that we had uh, done with the help of this fractal analytical model. Next, uh, so whenever you are doing uh, analytics, okay, the balancing of five analytical dimensions is very much one is speed, okay, the speed at which the analytical outcome must be produced. Next, analytical complexity, okay, it can be an algorithm complexity. Okay, next is accuracy and precision. It is the ability to produce the exact versus the appropriate solution as well as the ability to provide a measure of confidence. Data science, the size of a data set is very much important. Next is data complexity. It is uh, what type of data it is. Whether it has a formal complexity, it means it measures the overlaps and linear separabilities, uh, numbers, columns, linkages between the databases. Next, um, in uh, for the data science uh, for analyzing we are using so many techniques it can be active learning it can be a uh, agent based simulation it can be a Bayesian network like it can be association rule mining collaborative filtering coordination transformation deep learning design of experiments differential equations discrete even simulation discrete variable transformation ensemble learning expert solution exponential smoothing factor analysis, fuzzy logic, genetic algorithm, grid search, formal conversion, hidden Markov model, hierarchical clustering, k-means and x-means clustering, okay, linear and non-linear and inter integer programming, Monte Carlo method, okay, neural networks, random search, sensitive analysis, principal component analysis, okay, stepwise regression, support vector machines, t-test, tree-based methods, wrapper methods topic modeling so when we get into how a deep learning representation looks like first we will have an input layer and then we will have an output layer in between you will have a hidden layers this is the most important representation of a deep learning thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to if the if you like the video if you had understood some basics about the data science please uh, share to your friends okay please subscribe to your channel and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we can provide the contact details here we as a lnp renewable system indicator we can provide plc programming training especially for siemens allenbrook delta plc's so that once you got certified okay, from us you will be uh, pro provided with the iso 9000 2015 certification from us apart from it uh, we as a LNP renewable system, if you are really interested to work in GCC countries like Qatar, Oman, Saudi, especially in the building management system and building automation control system, then you can contact us. We can provide the contact list here. If there is no EV power available. Okay, if you want to establish your solar DC lighting system, then you can contact us. And you might have an agriculture farms if you want to protect your crops from the wild animals. Instead of going for normal fencing, you can use a solar electric fencing. We are providing solar fencing as a kit. Uh, if you are really interested, uh, to implement a solar on grid, off grid, or hybrid application, solar street light, solar pump services, design, installation, testing, and commissioning, consultancy, and training supports we are providing. And most important, if you want to learn the access control basics and electric vehicle technology basics and fire alarm basics, Python programming basics, then you can contact us. We can provide the contact details here. Thank you so much.